Consulting, and today I'm going to show you how to use Torio Data 2.1 with Microsoft Power BI Desktop. So first off, once you've installed the Torio driver, we would come in and configure uh, and add a new one. So I'm going to choose the Torio driver right here. Then I'll get a dialog box. I got to give it a name, so we'll just call this one Demo. Uh, it's also going to ask me some credentials about my business object server. So I would put in the location of my server right there. If the port or URL has changed, I would add that as well. And then it's going to ask me for a password and username into business objects. I'm going to use administrator here. And then use enterprise security. We could also use AD or LDAP. And then I'm going to click add for new query definition. This is going to go out and scan and tell me which universes in the repository my user ID has access to. And I'll choose this one here. Then we're going to get a dialog box and I'll just give this one name sales and I can choose the objects that I want to see. So we'll do year, month, week, maybe sales revenue and let's get some other information too. We could use zip codes or whatnot, floors here, but we'll use state and city. So I could also run this and get a preview of the data, make sure what I'm asking business objects for is what I'm expecting. You can see that that's good. I'll hit OK. And I have a data source in uh, Torio ODBC that will show up as a table to a calling program. And in this example, I'm going to use show you how it works with Microsoft Power BI. So I'll go ahead and open up the desktop version. This is the latest version for Microsoft. And so first off, it's going to ask me to get some data. So we'll go out, get some data. I'll click more here. And we're going to use an ODBC source. Find that in the list. There we go. So I'll connect. Now it's going to ask me for a connection string. So in this case, on this machine, I would use DSN equals then my name of the driver that I used. And in that case, it was demo. Hit a semicolon, hit OK. I could also put in a SQL statement if I wanted to. Now, once that's there, it's actually seeing that sales as a table. Uh, excuse me, here. And I can go ahead and load the data. And as you can see, my application actually returned this amount of data back to Power BI. So these are the the actual components that I asked for from Torio, which were derived from a business objects universe here. And now I'm pretty much off and running onto creating a new visualization within Microsoft Power BI. So if we wanted to do something like city and state and maybe do a measurement of the sales here, Microsoft does a great job of just plotting this right away onto a, onto a map for us. I could change the map type here as well and uh, actually zoom in and see the states if we wanted. And then obviously I can change this into a bar graph or a chart or whatnot. So very quickly from uh, Torio ODBC, I can create a brand new connection to a business object universe, deploy that connection, and then use a tool like Microsoft Power BI to go ahead and query that using Torio ODBC.